After over a month of calling this beautiful city home, it's finally time to say goodbye to Sarajevo. It's hard to believe that what started as a short visit turned into an unforgettable journey, from the rich history to the breathtaking landscapes to the warmth of the people. Ah, Zakaria. Bosnia has truly captured our hearts. Not gonna lie, we are sad to be leaving this incredible country, but the adventure doesn't stop here. Today, we're hopping on a bus and heading to Montenegro. We've heard amazing things about the coastal towns and stunning scenery, so we're excited to see what's next. Oh my gosh, that viewpoint is amazing! Leaving is always the hardest part, but as travellers, we know that every goodbye leads to a new hello. So join us as we continue our journey through the Balkans, from the heart of Bosnia to the stunning shores of Montenegro. Let's see what Montenegro has in store for us. And it's that day where we leave Sarajevo, Bosnia. I'm actually quite gutted that we're leaving, but it's a good thing because it means we'll be coming back. Today we're off on a bus journey for the first time here in Europe and we are going to Montenegro. We're just waiting for a taxi. That said it will be here in 10 minutes, 10 minutes ago and we are on the clock. Yeah, one thing we found a bit of a struggle here in Sarajevo is booking taxis. I think there's a Modge taxi app which is equivalent to your Uber but every time I kept using it it just said there's no taxis available in your area and we're right in the city centre. So it li literally is nothing like Uber. It's just like a very, very simple app which just shows some location of a taxi and when you try using it, like, literally says no have. Our bus is at two o'clock and it's now quarter to one and we're about half an hour away. And then we've ordered some food from a Palestinian restaurant, which we were going to have on the journey. So time is of the essence here. Now just making my way down the road to see if I can find a taxi while Earth and Wings. So it looks like I'm by a taxi station. Let's hope I can get one. Hello. Hello. We're looking to go to Istokono bus station. Autobus. Bus uh, station. Bus station, yeah. Okay. Uh, but I just need to pick up my family, just, just one block. Okay, and how much do you have back? Yeah, we have two suitcases. One case is five mark, you know that. Okay, so what's uh, the price? Price, two cases, 10 mark, the price 20 mark, 30 mark. 30 mark, 30 mark. okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, no problem. Yeah. Okay, taxi's here. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Thank you, brother. Sorry, what's your name? <laughs> Adnan, no problem. Adnan, Adnan. okay. Yeah. Mashallah. Nice to meet you, brother. Right, so the food is ready, managed to get a taxi and uh, running now to pick the food up. I do need to stop up at an ATM because the taxi was costing more than anticipated. Unless they accept card at this restaurant all of a sudden. Let's check. Hello, Asalaamu Alaikum. Uh, the takeaway for, Irf uh, for Irfan. Three tawoks, yes. Oh. Thank you. Right, got the food and also got a couple of cans of drink. The guy didn't want to be recorded. I need to find an ATM, but I'm hoping there's one on the way. But we now have plenty of time to get to the bus station, which is another 15 minutes away. And we made it to the bus station, guys. With 20 minutes to spare. Yeah. Woohoo! Okay, just made it to the bus station. We are about 15 minutes away, so I'm going to go inside and make sure we get our ticket sorted. I don't know what to do. So our bus that we're getting is by a company called Glossica. There's no sign for the bus that we're taking to Puerto Rico, which is very, very concerning. I've seen a bus pull up, which says Sarajevo to Puerto Rico, which looks like the one is ours. Okay, that's the one. I think this is the bus over here. It's really weird because when you go and show the ticket, you got to pay two marks each. And then when you put in your suitcase in, you have to pay four marks per piece of luggage. But he didn't count our small bags. He just counted our big two suitcases. So it's eight marks in total of four euros. Just make sure you have that cash available on you. It is 1.54 bag in time. 2.07 and we are on our way. It's a semi-comfortable bus. I wouldn't say it's the most comfortable bus ever. It's basically what we're working with right now. And yeah, not really much space for my legs either. Probably because I've got my uh, camera bag. I don't like leaving this out of my sight. Right, so we have just made it out of Bosnia. Absolutely knackered. Got our passport checked to the immigration. We we'll jump back into the bus, making our way through the no man's land and then gonna enter Montenegro and get our passport checked there now as well. And then we have officially entered the Montenegro. Is that it? I think so. Right, back on the bus for another few hours. Let's go. Time is five o'clock. We've been but stopping every hour. I know, we've been stopping every single hour, which is, I guess, not a bad thing. Yeah, it's really bumpy up here. Like yeah. the roads are really bumpy, it feels sickly. Mountainous roads, right? So like stopping every hour actually makes it nicer. Yeah, it does. And we made it to 
Montenegro guys we are just walking the streets and believe it or not deck check is 34 degrees at half past 8 p.m can't believe that yeah I wonder I fear what it's going to be like tomorrow during the day for now we've got one full day booked here at the moment and I do have a bit of a work day to do tomorrow so gonna have to try and figure that out but it might be enough here we're not sure we're not sure we've got we've got to plan our next week or so here out but first things first we've only had something small to eat right yeah but i feel stuffed that bus journey was really bumpy and luckily we ate when the bus was on standstill because i think it would have made me feel even more sick so we're now making our way to a turkish restaurant that i found online which is halal I think it's probably the only halal restaurant around this whole area that we're staying so we're gonna have something to eat we might be a regular patrons at this place for the next few days i think right let's go and get some food i've got a correction to make this isn't a turkish restaurant it is actually an emirati restaurant but it's called arabian tea house and all the food here on the menu is basically traditional emirati food it's like the first time we've seen outside of like the main kind of Europe area. I've never come across Emirati food or a place where they serve Emirati foods. Quite excited with this. We're going to go with uh, Sambusa. So I'm not even that hungry, but to be honest with you, I think the three I want is some samosas. So we're going to go for that. And then it's like a chicken curry, but like an Emirati sauce. There's the samosas. And the pricing is in euros, so it's, that makes a change. Coming from KM, are we halving it? Euros is literally near enough the pounds so <laughs> yeah. it's not going to be as cheap that we were thinking of maybe getting a biryani but i think we're going to go for the curry because that comes with rice chicken saloon at that dish there let's get that ordered right the food has arrived we're absolutely starved we're going to dig in and then we'll let you know how it is Boom. one hour later the diary of zakaria guess what still eating still eating now Irfan's turn I've just been feeding him for the last hour he's got about three four bites left we'll take him another 30 minutes to do that this is the reality I'm telling you oh this is proper correct tea mate proper correct tea let's go yeah. right at the end wolf we'll show you our little apartment that we've got here for the next two nights here we go apartment tar here we have the lovely kitchen table and the kitchen area oh it's got everything that you need you've got an oven hobs sink where's the fridge you may ask Ooh. there it is here's the living area quite nice and we have a big massive telly on the wall got a nice little balcony out here and we have a nice little workstation and then we didn't realize this on the booking but it's two twin beds so we're gonna have to see if we can put them together we have a nice wardrobe and then you have the bathroom Ooh. and maybe we've got a laundry here as the Korea's potty because we're trying to potty train him right now there we have it the Korea is so happy what have you seen the Korea you want to sit Wow, Zakaria is a big boy. Look at you. Are you excited? Wow, look at you, Bibinichi. Smile. Hi, we've made it to the coastal areas of Montenegro. Yeah, we started things off in what looks like a dump site, to be fair. <laughs> Google Maps says this is a lovely viewpoint of the first stop that we made across the coast, which is Budvik. This is what we are near. What about here? It should give you the same view, right? It's very trashy though. Let's see. Are you ready for the view, guys? Woohoo! You can see all the boats out in the water. Could this be it? I mean, if it's not, it's a very good one. Do you think there's one further down that way? It could be. We can walk through that and see what we can find. Let's go. Let's see. Look, he's got this new thing now, but instead of calling him mommy, he's got mom. Instead of calling you daddy, he's got dad. No, I still want to be daddy. Where did they pick things up like this from? Because we never say it. We never call each other mommy, daddy or mom and dad. How do you know? He doesn't even watch TV because we stopped screen time as well. God knows where he gets it from looks like this could be a trail if i was going to lead us right to the bottom of the path before so good job we don't listen to you eh whoa yeah okay, you okay looks walking? like the viewpoint's going to be so much nicer this is what we're working with we're going downhill it's going to be a nice challenge coming back up i thought it was just going to be a nice little viewpoint you can park up at i didn't realize there was a hike involved but yeah we have here made it to budva we are staying in a place called Setinja. i think that's how you say it we'll drop it down the spelling here but it's actually a really nice quiet village it was one of the cheapest accommodations that we've got because when we were looking at accommodation around the coast the prices were crazy like we are here now in August which is peak time and 
the minimum you were getting accommodations for, like Airbnb in a kitchen, was £112. That was a the minimum. Then they were going up to £150 plus. And if you stay in hotels on booking.com, it was like £150, £300 a night. Wow, this looks like a nice viewpoint. Oh, yeah, you can see the beach there. Wow, look at that. That's a pretty sick beach, That's though, isn't nice. it? That's nice. Yeah. The trail does go further down there, as you can see. But we're going to call it a day, aren't we? I think so. Sorry, yeah, let's go historic town, get something to eat, see what the vibe is. Drone shots incoming in three, two, one. Looking at the pictures online and this is a five-star hotel, like check this out. We're gonna go to the infinity pool upstairs. This is crazy. Look at that, jacuzzi hot tub with that view. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, Afternoon. look at this. Oh, this is beautiful, man. Look, Oh, this look is at it. the viewpoint. Wow, it's beautiful. Look at this. Back in the car we go. And here we have the area of Budva, guys. This is actually one of the most expensive areas in the whole of Montenegro, believe it or not. Look at that sunshine. It's got a whole different vibe here, hasn't it? Yeah. We're just driving around and we've just seen like 24 hour supermarkets. A bakery. Bakeries. You've got pharmacies, of course. You need that when you are in a 24 hour strip full of party and badness, I suppose. Tell me if you are with us. I'm in Europe. I'll go first. Espresso machine. Oh, and actually, look, it's a 0.9 euro espresso. Not yeah, bad. Not bad. We are just now walking the streets of Budva, guys. We have just had something to eat at Taste of Asia. Taste of Asia is actually pretty good. It's got like a mixture of Indonesian, Thai, Chinese food. But now we are making our way to the old town, seeing as though we are here. And we're going to check it out, see if it's worth a buy. But so far, I think I'm happy with our decision that we stayed about half an hour away because it seems very touristy and very busy. Like getting about in the car from A to B has been a bit of a mission because there's been a lot of traffic and parking has been a pain. But let's go see what the old town is all about, shall we? We are on the hunt for some blue bubblegum ice cream that we used to have all the time in Sarajevo city. So let's see if we can find it. These are the streets of Budva, guys. And this is what I meant by the traffic and the chaos right in the center. We are right by the Merit Hotel, which is yeah. also one of the famous ones, which I believe is a casino as well as a hotel. Hmm. I don't know where we are, but it doesn't look like an old town. It looks very posh. Yeah, like resorts and casinos and what have you around here, but I think it's like... <laughs> this is like the newest old town I've ever seen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's like a new town. Right, so we've come out of the new town into the old town and I'm getting really kind of like that Dolt Vita, Ibiza old town vibes here. You've got like the citadel kind of old wall. You've got all these restaurants lined up here. There's some shisha cafes, some kids driving around in these things, which no doubt Zakaria will want to as well. Yeah, we have just crashed and I said he'll get scared. Now this is what you call a vibe. Yeah, it's got that kind of like IBT vibe. So I think this is the entrance into the old town. Let's have a little walk around and see what there is there. It's very narrow, the streets wow. here. You're going to so really get lost in the side streets, you know. Proper cute, man. The only little boutique stores yeah. here right now it really gives us that Spanish Mediterranean vibe, isn't it? Yeah, you literally, when you cross into Montenegro from Bosnia, you start getting the more European vibes, which is really evident in this place exactly here. This old town is like proper old, old town. Look at how like narrow and tall the buildings are. Hey, look, I can get my hands there, that's how narrow it is. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well done. You touched it and touched it, yay! Yeah. So we've come across this pizza shop here. Woohoo! They look good, these pizzas. Bargain, three euro fifty for a slice. Thank you so much. What do you think? Oh, it's really good pizza. Isn't it? Mm. Yeah? All right. I got a bit of cardboard there, I think. <laughs> no, you didn't. So, we got some pizza. Now, after that, we're going to get some ice cream. Just fries and drink shops here. Then all of a sudden, you've got this little central bit here. Loads of bars, loads of people. Look how cool this is. On the left, you've got a cocktail bar, which is like a couple of hundred years old. I think it's at 1836. Oh, I think there's people queuing up to go in there. Yeah. The vibes here are so chill. Like, everyone's out, just having a nice time, having something to eat, walking around this old town. It's so vibey. You've got this 7th to the 12th century AD church. Wow. But this is the harbour that we're walking past now. 
and there are some pretty, pretty decent looking boats over here, aren't they, Pambos? Yeah. But yeah, we've got us some ice cream and we'll walk past the harbour and I think we're going to make our way back to the car now. Yeah, it's been a nice little walk around exploring the old town. Oh my gosh, that viewpoint is amazing! Yeah, the drive down is amazing too. Oh my gosh. This map is not lying on the roads and zigzaggy, by the way. We are making our way to the Hovlova Stana viewpoint. I think that's what it's called. Uh oh, oh. <laughs> we said about a car. It's a yeah. there. We said these roads are so narrow, what if a car comes? That is lucky that there was literally a spot there. Imagine if it was like here. Yeah, I know. What would you do? We'd have to reverse. Someone would have to reverse and, and it's you would have you. a standoff. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at this! If I try and navigate, there we go, turning down this fence because it's very narrow and if you go the wrong turn, you're kaput! You're kaput team! Whoa, look at the mountains that we are. That's daddy mountain. Yeah, big and strong like daddy. Oh, you can get a cup of coffee. Yeah. Take the view in, that's where you want it. Wow. This is unreal. This hotel is in like in the perfect space. Let's get out. <gasps> oh, look at that stunning viewpoint. I honestly wasn't expecting this. I know like viewpoints are viewpoints. We've been to loads over the years, but this has to be the most stunning one right up there. Yeah. Along with the others. So the cute. zigzag roads and this hotel on the cliff is something. It's definitely worth coming down. And I'm so glad we're staying at the Airbnb that we are because it's like literally a 20 minute drive. Well, that was a absolutely stunning viewpoint and there's loads of little viewpoints down this road you can literally go on. But the sun is setting now, we've decided to make our way back, but definitely recommend coming here. Just the road, the views, it's absolutely spectacular, isn't it, Erfan? It's fun, let me do it. And it's free, you don't even have to pay for it. We're in Europe, we don't have to pay for a viewpoint, wow. It's bittersweet leaving Sarajevo behind but we are so excited to explore Montenegro. This is just the beginning of our adventure here and we can't wait to explore everything this country has to offer. Thank you for joining us on this leg of the journey. We've got so much more to share so don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, follow your visions. We'll see you on the next one. Bye everybody.